You look tall, I looked up From where I sat, wished I wouldn't dress up Your first line, won't forget So is it true, no one's taking you yet I remember people, staring as we stepped outside They had only one goal, give me all for your To another YouTube video. Today's video I am going to be going through my two closets. I am standing right in front of them here. I just thought in the spirit of spring cleaning and this kind of feeling of renewal and newness and also just getting rid of old things. I have so many things in my closet that I just don't wear anymore so there really isn't any sense of keeping them. Also they aren't my style because I feel like I've really honed in and narrowed down to what my personal style is and I've kind of been hanging on to a lot of clothing items that just don't really suit me anymore. So I thought what a great idea during quarantine. I feel like this is a great at home activity, you know, for everyone at home to just go through your closets, pull out the things you don't need, donate or, you know, sell some of your stuff. I do have a Depop account, so I might try to sell some things that are in good condition. Uh, but yes, and if I do do that, I will leave a link to my Depop down below. But yeah, okay, so I have two closets here, um, which is unusual for New York City, um, but I am in Brooklyn. There are two pretty big, like, full-size closets, so we are going to start with the one on my right, your left. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like the best way to do this, dun dun dun, <laughs> is to just kind of go through, take everything out, and sort of make piles. Oh my gosh, okay. So in this closet here, I kind of keep everything from dresses, and then it flows into, on this side here, more of my shirts, and then I have my gowns. And at the top here, I have jeans, sweatpants, and then sweatshirts. So I have, within each category, I then organize by color. So I go from whites, and then I go through the rainbow to darks. <laughs> so, alright, so the first item here is this jumpsuit from Love Me Rebecca Taylor. I could not ever get rid of this. I just got this last spring. I did, I got it from Rent the Runway. I have such a cute picture with it on, which I will show you here. And it's just like a pretty blue, kind of like floral pattern. I just think it's so different from anything else I've ever had in my closet, so I'm for sure keeping that. This is a tough one because I have gotten a lot of wear out of this. I just, the fact that it's like a dark color, I don't love, but this is another jumpsuit. And I have worn this for mainly occasions in the winter time, so nice dinner in the winter, celebrating New Year's Eve I've worn this, and also like christmas -y type things. <sighs> yeah, it's from Club Monaco, and it has these pretty like sleeves, and it like ties down the sleeve, which I think is really cute, so yeah, I'm going to keep that. Oh, this is cute. Okay, mm, but this is hard. Okay, so this next thing is also a jumpsuit. So clearly we're starting with jumpsuits. This is a black jumpsuit. I actually got it fairly recently. It's from the brand here it says Design Lab, but I just got it at a department store and it kind of ties in the front here. This is hard because like I said, I don't love wearing black anymore, but a black jumpsuit is kind of nice to have. I think I'm gonna keep it. Next thing is this skirt. This is from J. Crew, I believe. I got this when I was a senior in college, thinking it would be a the great type of skirt that could be worn to an interview, which it really is. It's actually like a really well-made skirt. It's good quality, as you can see. It's such good quality, and that's the thing, is I feel like you should really hold on to things that are good quality. It's just that I haven't worn it in a long time. But maybe I could try to set it on I have, like my garment rack here and try to wear it, and if I don't wear it, then I'll um, sell it or get rid of it. This is a dress, so yeah, this, I mean, this is from Zara. It's like a white short sleeve dress with a little embroidery anglais pattern. I just think that this is so cute. It's like a mini dress, and I got a lot of wear out of this last spring and summer, and I know that I'll get a lot of wear out of it this spring and summer, so I have to keep it. 
All right, and then the last thing, I've had this so long. This is just like a beach cover-up dress, honestly. This is from Cotton On. I got it when I lived in New Zealand. And this is just like a pretty kind of like lace pattern at the top, and then it's just like flowy. I just throw this on over a bikini and wear it to the beach. It's my only dress that's that I have that's like that, so I'll keep it. This dress I got to wear to work. It is a good wear to work dress, but... I don't know it's too worky almost like and it is prettier on than it is on the hanger it's like a linen material it's from Zara I don't love it but it is a good work dress so I will hold on to it for that okay and then next is this dress which also I got for interviews this is from and Taylor yeah I just think there is there will be a time and place that I need this dress so I'm just gonna hold on to it. This is also was also my Miss New Hampshire interview dress just because I thought that it was different. Most girls wear like a solid solid pattern like brightly colored dress and I just kind of like this and I do feel like it is great for any interview or a more dressy work event and since I do work a nine to five job I do need to hang on to things like this so I will keep this. Okay this dress I think think I actually might get rid of. I loved this dress when I first got it. It's from Zara and you might be looking at this thinking oh my gosh that's so pretty and it is. It is so pretty. It's like a gorgeous like embroidered pattern and I really really loved this when I got it. The problem is that when I washed it it got really short and it is way too short in the front. It's way too short. So sadly I am going to put this in the pile to sell because I think that someone who is maybe a little bit shorter could really would might love this dress so I am going to sell it. This dress, okay so I guess I lied, this I do have another just wear over a bikini to the beach or the pool dress and that would be this one for me. I do think that it is really cute and I know one of my friends actually really loves this dress. When she saw it she thought it was really cute and um, she actually wore it out so maybe I will contact her and see if she wants it. Maybe I'll give it to her because I just don't think that I would wear it anymore. I'm kind of done with it so... I will get rid of that. Next is this dress from Zara. I got this only last spring and I absolutely love it so I could not get rid of it. It's a beautiful white dress with like these puff sleeves and this really pretty detail on the sleeve and it has like a red rose floral pattern on it with the button down and v-neck and it's a mini dress. I just think that it is so cute for any occasion so I could not get rid of this. I'm holding on to it. Next is this, which is a romper. I got this from Rent the Runway, and I do think that it is cute just because I don't own anything like it. It's a lace, beautiful, like, detailed lace material. The brand is Baby Dakota. The problem is, is that it had an elastic in here, and the elastic just, like, broke. So it, like, it doesn't stay up on your, like, shoulders anymore. It just falls down. So, but I really do like it, so I think I'm going to put it aside to remind myself to bring it to a tailor and see if maybe she can put a new elastic through it because it is such a shame and I feel like, <laughs> look at how wide that is. It's like twice as big as me. Um, yeah, I feel like it really is a shame and I will just see if maybe she can add that in. All right, <laughs> next is this dress from Man Other Stories. This is totally not me because I don't wear animal print ever, but I felt like it was such a trend and I really kind of wanted to own something in that trend. And if I was going to, it would be a dress like this. And I just think it's really cute. I love the shape of it. It's just a typical like spaghetti strapped summer dress. I love wearing this with like a denim jacket over it or even like a cropped t-shirt, which I actually bought it with that I thought was really cool. <sighs> I also feel like this would be a cute dress to wear out in the summer, which is what I've done. So yeah, I'm holding on to that. And then this dress, which you might recognize from my Shein haul last year. I don't think, I think I only wore this, actually no, I wore this to work like two times. I don't know why I wore it twice, but both times I remember being in like the work bathroom and like turning around and being like, oh, 
it's see-through like it was completely see-through and I was wearing like the lightest like nude like underwear that you could think of and it was still see-through and I was kind of on the fence about it the material is disgusting it's like an awful awful cheap material so maybe I will put that in the get rid of or sell pile I would definitely sell it for really cheap just because you know when I bought it it was super cheap this dress I bought for work whoa it is so bright on camera this is from Gap I love the shape of the dress like I love the fact that it comes up to the neckline here and it's not spaghetti strapped but it has like a tank top so I feel like it's appropriate for work it ties in at the waist and you know it's just like a short cute material this I'm uh, this is so hard this is like harder than I thought to get rid of things I don't know I bought this when I had my first job in New York but something about it is just too bright and I don't love it so but it is a good work dress. I'm gonna make a maybe pile and try it on. That's what I'm gonna do. This dress I could never get rid of. It's also from Shein. It is a dupe for a Reese dress that I really wanted. I just think that it is so gorgeous and elegant and classy. I just love the fact that it has like the long sleeves and the beautiful floral pattern. And it's a midi length dress, so it's more conservative. Ugh, I just really like it. I could not get rid of it. This jumpsuit you guys saw me wear in my Christmas outfit ideas. I just, I feel like someone could actually really like love this much more than I do. I don't see myself like actually wearing it for any occasion. And it is super comfortable. Like if you have a dress up event that you need for the holidays and you want to still be comfortable, this is like the perfect option for that but I don't see myself actually running into that situation. Like, I feel like if I am invited to a nice like holiday party, then I probably wanna wear a dress and I wouldn't really wear this on a normal day. So I think it's just taking up space in my closet. <laughs> so for that reason, I am going to put it in the cell pile. All right, and then I have this dress from Reformation. This is just so, so, so adorable. This is like a picnic table or a picnic basket pattern. I love this for the summer. I wore this on the 4th of July a lot, and I just think that it is so cute. I don't think I could get rid of it. It's from Reformation, and it's just a very typical summer dress. All right, next is this dress, which when I got it, I thought that it was so unique and different, and that I would love it it's the brand is echo type but i really just for the life of me i oh i think i got it at urban outfitters i think but it is really cute on you're basically covered in the front besides this one little like slit and then in the back it kind of like comes together but this whole back is open and i wore this in italy and it was just like a beautiful like bright italy dress <sighs> it looked great in photos because of the bright red, but man, okay, maybe pile, maybe pile. So this is a neon green romper that I got from Zara. This I just thought was so cute because it comes with a matching scrunchie, which I just thought was like the cutest thing. So I wore this like out when I went to go see my friend Mary who lives on the Jersey Shore and I went out one night and I wore this and I felt really cute in it. It's very bright, standout-ish. I don't think I could get rid of it. Again, it's from Zara and I only got it last summer, so definitely hanging on to that. All right, now this dress I think I can get rid of. This is from, I definitely got this at that store in the mall, like Francesca's. <laughs> And I think like 2015. So I've had it for five years now. Um, I think it's just kind of had its day with me. I have like a fond memory of when I had my first job in New York, like wearing this dress. And my friend um, Kendall and I, we used to work, our offices were really close to each other in Midtown. So we would meet in Bryant Park and have lunch sometimes, which just like sit on the grass and it, like beautiful summer, like weekdays just like in the middle of work um and yeah and I have like a picture of the two of us and I'm wearing this dress but I don't know I, it's another dress that I'm not in love with and I do think that I could get rid of so yeah I'll probably get rid of that and then 
this dress, this is a very similar color green, but as you can see, it is a slip dress from Reformation, and it's this beautiful, like, silk color, and it kind of, like, you know, just comes down like this, again, from Reformation. This was my birthday dress. When I turned 26, this was my 26th birthday dress, and... I just felt like so grown up in it. This to me felt like 13 going on 30. Like this reminded me of like something that maybe she would have worn. Yeah, so I think I have to hold on to this. I have to. Is this dress which I love, but when I wear it, people think that I look like I'm wearing scrubs, which I totally can see and I think that that is a very fair point. I just thought that it was such a pretty light blue and I love a, a mini dress with short sleeves it ties in at the waist. I just, I love the shape of it. And it's like a linen, so it's perfect for summer. The fact that literally everyone thinks I look like I'm wearing scrubs in it. <sighs> okay, rid of it. <laughs> you shouldn't let other people dictate what you think, but. Next is this dress, which I have had since I was in high school. So I've had this so long. This is from American Eagle. <laughs> and you can see it's just like a pretty seersucker material. Um, and then at the back, it just kind of like ties over your bra strap right there. And uh, it's just so cute. I have had this dress for so long. It doesn't even really fit me well anymore because like I said, I have had it since high school. So just like yeah, and the top and everything, it just doesn't really fit me. But it's one of those like sentimental things where I have had it for so long. <sighs> but like I said, I really haven't worn it in a long time. I think it's kind of out of style also. I mean, it is classic. Not to say that like seersucker isn't classic, but I think I got this at the time when preppy was was like the style. So yeah, it's it's had its day and... I don't need it anymore. This is this dress, which I do think is really cute. It is from Zara. It's like an off-the-shoulder dress. I got it that summer when off-the-shoulder was all the rage. Every single girl was wearing off-the-shoulder tops and dresses. It was just like, like, do you remember that when off-the-shoulder was such a big thing? I'm not really a huge off-the-shoulder fan. I feel like I have to keep adjusting it every two seconds, but... I do have a really cute picture of me wearing this in Central Park um, when I went with my boyfriend for the first time. We went to the, um, the Loeb Boathouse and had brunch and then went out on like the rowboats and it just felt so like the notebook to me. It was like a beautiful scene and a beautiful day. <sighs> but like I said, I don't see myself wearing it again so and it kind of looks like cheap to me although it is from Zara so um, it's really not that bad, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's time to get rid of this and make way for new things. We're going to try to go a little bit more speedy here. This is a turquoise romper, which I do think is really cute. Turquoise isn't really my color, but I have gotten a lot of wear out of this, so I think I'll hold on to it. This dress you guys have seen me talk about in my the most worn items in my closet. This is my like classic safe first day of work dress, first date dress, whatever. Um, so yeah, I cannot get rid of that. This dress is from Garnet Hill, which is a company that I used to intern for. It is just like a very cotton, nice dress and I just love the periwinkle color and I feel beautiful in it. I always get compliments when I wear it so and it is so comfortable and great for work as well so yeah I'll, we'll hold on to that. And we're getting into some of the darker colors like blues and blacks. This dress is from the brand Lush. I really cannot remember where I bought this but this is more of an occasion dress it's a pretty navy blue and the shape is sort of a shape that I love where it kind of comes up to the neckline here and then it comes in at the waist and kind of goes out I really actually do love this dress and it is a really good dress just like to have for occasions but I think if I had an occasion I probably would want to buy a new dress for it. Gosh, this is so hard. Yeah, I feel like it could be good for like a wedding. I wore this to my cousin's wedding actually. Um, and I've been photographed in it. Oh yeah, I'll get rid of it. Sometimes you just have to like talk yourself through it and then, and then be like, yeah. <laughs> 
Next is this dress. This is from J. Crew. I, oh, even though I don't love this blue color, I look bomb in this dress. I'm just going to say my legs look amazing in it, and I just love the scallop trim. <sighs> yeah, it's great for work in the summer. I cannot get rid of this dress. I am holding on to it. Next is this black floral romper. It's all tied up right now, but this I love for going out in the summer when it's more warm or just like a nice like vacation kind of romper, you know, like vacationing somewhere with warm weather. So yeah, I think I'll hold on to that. This is from Free People. It is like a velvet with then this like almost like a painted sheer material which I think is just so beautiful and it has like a kind of a, a puff sleeve here. I love this around the holidays. Uh, yeah, I can't get rid of it. Okay, this dress I think I definitely can get rid of. I have worn this so much. It kind of reminds me when I first started dating my current boyfriend, I actually wore this dress a lot because it was just like a good kind of go-to uh, dress. It's It's sort of the type of dress where if you don't like if you don't really know where the night's going to take you or you don't really know where you're going to go like are you just going to go for dinner then but like is it that going to then turn into like going out uh it's the type of dress that kind of i feel like can you can kind of get away with in any situation because it is like black but it you know you can it can be for the day it could be for the night but i think like i said i think it's i think it's i'm getting rid of it <laughs> This dress I 100% am getting rid of. I never really loved it in the first place. It's from Express. It's like a black and white polka dot long sleeve. I got this because it was great for work in the winter, but this dress also I think I'll get rid of. It's from The Loft. It's just like a black and white stripe. It's really just not my style anymore, so I am going to get rid of that. This is a black maxi dress. I have had it for a long time. I don't know, just something about like a full on wearing black is just a lot to me. And I really don't love it. I pretty much never wear it. There was a time where it was a trend to wear a black maxi dress with a denim jacket. And when that trend was happening, I wore it. I loved it. Trend is over, so I'm getting rid of it. Okay, this dress I actually got at a thrift shop and it looked so cute in 90s to me I thought. It's from French Connection and it's just like a total like typical 90s dress and I just thought that was really cool for going out. I keep mentioning like for going out but like I really don't go out guys. I have like yeah I never go out. I did wear this just uh, summertime last year so maybe I will give it a little bit longer and see if I wear it this, this spring summer. If not, then um, I will get rid of it. This dress is another one of those dresses, like I said, it's just like a safe dress to wear if you don't know if how the night is going to go, if you're gonna go to dinner, go out, whatever, daytime, next day, whatever. <sighs> yeah, this was one of those dresses for me, and I did get a lot of use out of it. It's just the, I just don't love it anymore. I don't love it anymore. I got a lot of use out of it, but I think I am done with it now. This dress is from H&M. This is a really great work dress, so I might hold on to it for now, just until I wait and see kind of what the dress code is at my new job. If it's more casual, like my old office, then maybe I will get rid of it, just because I really don't love it. But if it's a little bit more dressy, then I might hold on to it, because it is a good work dress. This Zara dress I absolutely love. It is like a mini dress. I love like belting it here and wearing it with Stuart Weitzman boots. Love that, hanging on to that. This is from Calvin Klein. I got it at Saks Off Fifth. I think that it is a great like fall, uh, fall work dress, so I will hold on to that. This dress I got a couple summers ago. I wore it to uh, one of my friend's weddings in the summer and I just thought it was really fun. I love the way that it looks on me, so I am going to hold on to that. Wow, I feel like I've done pretty good. All right, now we're on to the last of the black dresses. This is a black romper. I haven't worn it for a long time because I don't really have a reason to, but it's kind of one of those things that like when I need it, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So, I think, I think I need to hold on to it. This dress is from H&M. It's actually too small for me, and I knew that when I bought it, when I tried it on, I just really liked it. It's got balloon sleeves, and 
it's it's actually really cute with like one specific pair of shoes that I have I'll put it in the try on pile try on and then decide next is this dress which as you can see has some cutouts here and it's pretty open in the back this was like more of an occasion dress for me um yeah I feel like I've worn this for like New Year's Eve that sort of thing so I feel like there is kind of a time and place for it yeah yeah I might just hold on to it get rid of all my black dresses but then I'm like I might need it so I'm thinking until I can build my wardrobe up a little bit more and get more pieces to replace these ones I'm going to hold on to them but then after that I'll just kind of get rid of a lot of stuff this is from Zara I wore this on my first anniversary with my boyfriend so it has sentimental value and I cannot get rid of it this dress I might get rid of I thrifted this dress but I don't think I've ever actually worn it in real life <laughs> maybe once but it, I definitely don't ever return to it so I'm really not attached to it and I think I can get rid of it then last but not least is this checkered dress from Reformation this makes me feel like Sabrina the Teenage Witch I love wearing like a turtleneck under it in the fall time so I have to keep it <gasps> okay and that's it for the dresses gosh to show you what's on my floor right now so I've got everything that I'm keeping here just like extra hangers everything that I'm selling and then things I need to try on so I feel like all in all with like getting rid of all of that is pretty good I'm proud of myself so now I begin putting everything all the dresses and keeping back is this what you want now feels like you're looking for something better satisfying when you can have all of the hangers like separated a little bit let me show you what I mean like you have enough space to actually like separate things and make them all evenly spaced out and like in rainbow order <laughs> I just it's so satisfying so yay okay guys <laughs> so it's now actually a couple days later I was losing the light and uh, I just got tired, but we're going to move on to the other side of this closet, which is my shirts, <laughs> basically. So, first is this shirt, which I got at Zara. Honestly, this is a really great work shirt. It kind of ties in the front here. I love that it's white. I don't know. I don't, like, love this shirt just because I feel like when it ties, just the shape doesn't for some reason it just doesn't look right on me but it is a really good work shirt and I don't know if I'm gonna need it so I will hold on to that this top I really don't think that I can get rid of this is from J Crew. it goes with that striped skirt that I showed earlier and I just do actually kind of get a lot of use out of this so yeah I will keep it okay moving on to collared shirts now so this first one here actually is, I think this is from, yeah, from Zara. Obviously it needs a good <laughs> steam, but I just love the detail on the sleeves, the little ruffle, and the fact that it ties in here. I love this with a pair of nice jeans for work, or just in general, I think this is a really good shirt to have, so I am going to keep that. This is the next shirt, I really don't love this. It is kind of see-through. I feel like this is like a 90s mom shirt or something. I just, yeah, I don't really love it. I think I might get rid of that shirt. Yay, I got rid of one. <laughs> Next is this one from Gap. This used to be my go-to, I guess, interview shirt. And I really love it. I think that it looks really cute for work. I might hold on to it. And then I have this one, which actually is on the hanger inside out for some reason. I got this at TJ Maxx, but it's actually from Gap. And this to me, yeah, I don't know. This looks like a, this is like a boy shirt to me. Like this is a very classic boy shirt and it's very like preppy. I feel like there was a time where this would have been really great to have. And I still do feel like an Oxford shirt really is a classic. And if I am going to have a classic, I think in a light pink color is very classic for me so I will hold on to it for now even though I haven't worn it for years it's just one of those things that I feel like I just need to have 
maybe the day will come. I know that's bad, but um, this one actually I have worn. It's striped and it's a beautiful, like thick material. It's from Saks Fifth Avenue. And yeah, I just really like it. I love like tying it up too in the summer, um, maybe with a pair of shorts or something. I just, I actually do really like it. This one was my first day of work uh, for, in my full-time job in New York City shirt, um, which is funny because my um, one of my good friends, Kendall, actually wore a very similar shirt, and we also and we both started our very first days on the same exact day when our offices were very close to each other. So of course um, we went out for happy hour right after our first days, and there's a picture of both of us wearing these blue shirts. This is a very good classic work shirt, so I am for sure going to hold on to that. Okay, a chambray shirt. That I'm going to get rid of. Do you guys remember chambray shirts were such a thing for a while? Definitely when we were in college, I want to say like sophomore year of college. So, must have been like 2012, 2013-ish. Chambray shirts were like everyone had them. And part of me wants to say it's a good idea to keep one, but I really never loved the trend in the first place. So why hold on to something? if I don't truly love it and it's been a long time so I'm gonna get rid of it and then this last striped one from Zara I do think that this is a good shirt to have again it's a nice work classic so I will hold on to that so that's kind of another just like inserting a tip here is when you're thinking about what percentage of the types of clothes you have in your closet for me for example I work a nine-to-five job so probably about a good like over 50 maybe 60 to 70 percent of my closet is going to be stuff that I could wear to work because that is the majority of my day and you know what I need to be wearing on a day-to-day -day basis um, with the other smaller percent being stuff that I can wear on the weekends and I think for me just generally when I'm shopping I kind of always have in the back of my mind like but can I wear that to work because if not then there's just a small much as like a much smaller limited window of when I can actually wear it so if it's like a cute crop top I'm like oh my gosh that is so cute but like you can't wear that to work so I have to think realistically about how much wear I'm actually going to get out of it thinking to like the price per wear so when I'm thinking about getting rid of things, the things that I want to hold on to, even if I don't really wear them that much, you know, I will wear them to work. So, so yeah, that's why I got to hold on to all the work, the work clothes. All right. And then this is the last little section here. I just have one little top and then some cardigans. So this is, you're going to look at this and be like, that's like not you at all, Taylor. But actually in the winter, I think... I don't know I've worn this out in the winter and it was like a perfect shirt so I think I'm going to hold on to it this is a cardigan which has awful armpit stains from my deodorant and I think everyone should have a white cardigan but this one should not be worn anymore so I'm going to put that in a get rid of pile this is like a sweater from the loft it kind of goes like this I think I got this in like 2016 I just don't love it anymore and to be honest I didn't love it in the first place and I thought it was kind of hard to style. It's one of those things that looks really cute on the mannequin and like in theory, but then when you have it like actually on, there's just something off about it. So, but it is a really nice material. Like this is full on like wool and it is made like with very good quality. So maybe I will try to sell this and maybe it'll look better on someone else. Um, just like with me, I have very broad shoulders, so it just wasn't the thing, but yeah, I will, someone else will love that. And then this is also from Zara. It's just kind of like a velvety material with a floral pattern on it. It's very dark and it kind of ties here at the front. This is cute for winter and I do think that it is cute for work. I just really don't love it. I would so much rather replace it with something else. So yeah, and I don't like feel great when I wear it. I don't feel amazing. So. I think I will get rid of that. Next is a simple black cardigan. I think that everyone should own one of these, so I'm going to hold on to it. Okay, and then this is from H&M. It's like an informal kind of blazer, technically, and it's sort of just like ties in the middle here. I have had this for so long, and I don't think I've worn it once, actually. Maybe I wore it to work. That's the thing, is like so many of the pieces in my closet are like 
yeah, but I could wear it to work, but like I don't love them. <laughs> I don't know, story of my life. Give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment if you feel the same way that like you don't love how you have to dress for work but it's kind of just what you have to do. I don't know, I'll hold on to it. If I don't wear it next winter, I'll get rid of it. All right, so I think that this video is long enough at this point. I could take you through all of my pants, all of my sweaters and my jackets and things but I really don't, <laughs> I really think maybe we can leave that for another day. Let me know in the comments if you do want to see that. Otherwise, I really appreciate you for getting this far <laughs> and let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the future. I'm going to be starting my new job on Monday so I'm going to probably post a lot of content around like working from home and all of that. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about that. But otherwise, yeah, um, like as always, definitely subscribe. Also my Instagram account, The Fashion Squirrel, and I post daily outfit inspiration on there, so definitely follow that as well. And yeah, I hope that I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.